Aries family, what is going on? Thanks so much for tuning in. Welcome to the channel. I am Deborah. This is Purusha Intuitive, and we are looking at the energy for the week. This deck is so tiny. <laughs> I'm not used to it. Oh, fallen out. Okay, so something that you loved is coming to an end. Mama Bear pops up. Maybe you're dealing with something that has been really special, really close to your heart. Something that you were trying to protect, you know, that Mama Bear always is about. That nurture, that love, that protection. Clarity is coming to light. I actually like this for you, Aries, because it really does speak to bringing you a lot more grounding, a lot more stability. It's not going to feel as confusing, you know. Sometimes, like, we protect people with the best interest at heart, but then when it ends up starting to hurt or hinder us, that's when we kind of have to reevaluate, right? What our motives are and what we ourselves need. Easier said than done, but thus is life. <laughs> life learning and experience. All right, let's see what's up for you this week. Okay, so cutting out the BS, right? Just like I was talking about that, Sid, that really helps us, you know, um, I mean, it's, I'm hearing this as twofold. It's like part of the harvest. Clover just popped out into my lap, which is wish fulfillment. It's abundance. It's getting what you want. Actually, I'll put that in. We'll see if it comes back up. But, you know, it's kind of like that concept of separating the wheat from the chaff. If you are familiar with that concept, you know, just like the things that actually nurture, serve us. Maybe you're doing some traveling, getting some time away, some time for yourself. And actually, when you've been able to separate yourself, that's usually where we have a little bit more clear insight into what is happening. What is going on? Yep, there's our clarity. The cards never lie. I just, I love when they pop up twice. You know, because it really is confirming that energy for you, Aries, that I feel like, you know, you've kind of had some time to step away, maybe calm down a little bit, focus on you. We were just in Aries season. I hope you had a fabulous birthday, by the way. Um, and when we're able to do that, like I said, then it kind of gives us a little bit more rejuvenation and clarity. Double confirmation with this coffin energy. So, really kind of putting to rest, putting to bed, something that maybe you needed to a long time ago, you know? And I mean, obviously there's always a myriad of reasons of why something, you know, lingers, maybe something we had to look at, we or we didn't want to look at is what I'm hearing. Maybe you didn't really want to focus on all the drama, all the hubbub, etc. But something about this, I don't know how. To, okay, so I'm using this really interesting deck. It's called the Vice Versa Tarot. It has pictures on both sides. And it's supposed to represent like reversals on one side and positive energy on the other side. I don't really like re read reversals anyway, so maybe it's a moot point, but... Anyway, my little tangent, back to the reading. All right, so yeah, everyone, this is gonna show up differently for everyone, right? If you want me to do a personal reading, I'm definitely open. I love helping, supporting, giving clarity. It looks like, Aries, you already are having that clarity come, you know? And if not as much this week, yeah. It's coming through this page of swords, this communication energy. I feel like, again, something's been brought to light. You might not have even cut this out quite yet, but you're getting some type of message, some type of communication about someone. Maybe they're went through a rough time. Maybe they're approaching things differently. There's been this element of rebirth. The Page of Wands definitely susses out new territory, new opportunities, new beginnings. Or no, that's the Knight of Wands. My bad. So someone who's, you know, trying to reinvent themselves, or maybe this is your energy, right? That's fire energy. You're trying to look at, be strong with your decision making and how you make plans accordingly. 
especially with this air sign. So Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, someone who's doing the same thing, but you guys are just in very different, um, you're doing this in very different ways is what I should say. Someone moved a lot or way too quick in this situation is what I'm hearing. And so now it's kind of trying to figure out, pick up the pieces. Maybe a lot of the responsibility fell into your lap with this seven of wands. You know, it can be stressful because it's like you're you're the one managing it. You're the one handling it. And it's kind of funny because like I feel like you're trying to help. You know, this, yeah, exactly. Two of Pentacles juggling. You're trying to help. You're trying to juggle it all amidst your own self love, self care, right, Aries? Maybe you feel like a puppet a little bit, is what I'm hearing, you know? Because this person that you're dealing with, they're not even like really focused on you, they're kind of like doing their own thing. Maybe they see this, maybe they acknowledge this, etc. But they're still more invested in what they have going on, where I feel like you're the one trying to like hold it up and balance it all. And you're doing it, you know, you're doing a great job, but it's because of the intention, the work that you're putting behind that wheel of fortune. It's making things happen. Finding that pure power of creation with working with all the pieces that you have. But again, it's very, it's this very specific energy of this coming from you, Aries, and not specifically from this other person. You're trying to push things forward, but you're still kind of connected with that past energy. And, you know, that's the thing I think sometimes that's hard, right? Is like when we deal with people that aren't acknowledging or aren't talking about stuff, etc., and we're kind of sit there like, well, wait, <laughs> what about, what about, it's hard to move on. It's hard to push forward. Yeah. 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 It's someone who just completely turned their back on you for whatever reason. I mean, I get that. There's other responsibilities in life, other things to pay attention to. It's like that baby holding the key. It could be family related you know, especially if they are a parent, if they have a lot going on, if their energies are divided every which way. <clears throat> but again, it doesn't, it doesn't really like make it easier on you because like, as I said, like it looks like you're the one that's been holding it all together. Yeah, this person just is not paying attention at all, at all. This is the high priestess energy. You know, here she's open to receiving that information. She is that gatekeeper. And in this position, it's all about her not listening to her instincts and intuition. And so it's like a lot of duality, right? Vacillating between hot and cold. Sometimes, you know, giving you the, the attention, giving you what you need. And then other times just completely shutting off is what I'm hearing. And that kind of goes back to this Knight of Swords energy where they're not really paying attention. Like it's, it is more of a self-focused energy. Well, this is what I got to do, you know? And I feel like you're like, well, but wait, <laughs> there's options for all, you know? Yeah, and they've just been, I mean, unfor that's the unfortunate thing, right? Because when people don't pay attention, when they don't reflect... They don't see the ways that they are restricting themselves, hindering, you know, because to me, what I'm seeing on this end is maybe a lot of excuses, refusing to look at, refusing to see. Yeah. And they're probably legitimate. No shade to them. Like, I don't mean to be rude to anyone. We all have our issues or struggles. But I feel like for you, Aries, you're kind of like, you know, been there, done that. I don't want to put up with this anymore. Especially if you've had to rely on them or count on them for certain things. 
I feel like in some ways there's also this energy of them holding you back, you know, which happens. There needs to be a little bit more support. Relaxing, maybe taking some time to have some fun. Yeah, keeping things light. Three of Cups, Page of Cups energy, maybe having a little soiree. Something that is not so focused on whatever this is, whether this is, you know, I feel like whatever you're dealing with, it's really serious, right? Or it feels like it's taking up a lot of time and energy for everyone involved. And I feel like you've had some epiphanies around this and how you're the one taking on all the responsibility, Aries. But there, yeah, there needs to be some lightness. I, I feel like it. things have to change. This Ace of Cups is being blocked. So this is all water energy. It's all about like the feelings and the emotions, maybe being a little bit stubborn, self-righteous, and 1111 on the clock in the middle of everything. You know, because our feelings get hurt. We want to feel validated and justified for whatever happened, etc. There is going to be a wake-up call, though. Things are going to come to light. And honestly, I feel like it's going to be a little bit more... Yeah. It's going to bring a lot of pain with it, unfortunately, as well. And maybe that's kind of... You know, because that's the thing. Again, sometimes things get out of hand, right? Five of Pentacles, feeling, so someone ends up feeling left out, you know, whether that's you or them or, you know, the situation ends up getting confronted. And I think things come to light this week. I feel like it is a little bit of something that you're not expecting because you're probably still giving them the benefit of the doubt, right? You're probably still thinking about this in the most favorable way, etc., um, you know, okay, projecting, casting spells, interesting. So this energy of just be mindful, be mindful about even the intentions you set. You don't specifically have to do spell work, etc. But sometimes when we project our thoughts, feelings onto other people, this person's obviously not hearing it, right? Because as we see, it's like they're doing their own thing. You know, you are in their wheelhouse, so to speak, but they're not really paying attention. You know, they're letting you kind of do whatever it is that you're doing and they're focusing on themselves. So this is the energy of releasing and letting go. And I love the way that they say it. Today I'm releasing limiting beliefs harmful thoughts, toxic patterns, and anything out of alignment. That's all that means, right, of letting go. To start fresh. Water your dreams, you know? Like, we often put so much time and energy into what people aren't doing or how they're not X, Y, and Z, you know, when it's like, actually, <laughs> like, if we focused more on our own lives and what we were creating, imagine, imagine those manifestations. It's all okay. Things happen. Life can be unpredictable. It can be sad. There's pain. There's grief. It feels like this situation's heavy. It feels like it hasn't really gotten sorted out. It feels like no one's on the same page and not really seeing, you know. But when, you know, things have kind of, I mean, they've already been shut down. They've already been shut down and shut off. So sometimes it's just harder to reel things back in from that place. But where, however this fares for you, Aries, I really am sending so much love and blessings to navigating the situation fluidly. I know easier said than done, but I am here to support in whatever way. Thank you for tuning in. Big thumbs up if it resonates. Drop comments below. Let's build and grow the community. Lots of love and blessings.